Hey, what's up folks, Damon here. Um, I'm hard at work, still building, building my e-bike. I'm on day three, I have a couple things to do, uh, tool-wise and uh, little, well, things here and there. But uh, I wanted to uh, make this video because I'm trying to um, make my production value a little bit better. So I wanna kinda of show you with this test that I'm doing. So the action camera that I use is called the X3000, Sony X3000. And uh, I'm gonna be trying out a lavalier setup. So when I'm riding, it'll be a lot quieter and you can see uh, in this test. So I'm gonna run this test, uh, don't worry. Um, these videos for my e-bike will be coming soon but I did want to at least uh, tell you that I am trying to increase my production value in 2022, and this is where I'm at. All right, so this video is gonna be a very short test between the X3000 onboard microphone that you're hearing right now and the new Rode Wireless Go 2 system that I just bought and uh, the reason why I'm doing this test is because I was going to try to plug this directly into the uh, microphone input on the camera. However, I found even at the lowest gain setting, which is negative 30 dB output gain on the road, the preamp of the X3000 was still too hot. So I decided that I'm going to use the X3000 as reference audio and use the Rode Wireless Go 2 as the main audio. So. Here we go, this is the X3000 onboard microphone, and now... Now you're hearing the Rode Wireless Go 2 Lavalier Mono. It's connected, it's uh, on my coat right here, and it's only uh, recording straight into the transmitter. 48 kilohertz, 24-bit uncompressed wave audio. So I think it's a no-brainer on how I should proceed.